So it's basically a little raw on the inside, but it's seared on the outside. Wow. Good morning, we are leaving Zurich on our way to Paris, France. Uh, this is the Lyria, this is the high-speed train. It does make a few stops, but it should take us about four hours to get to Paris. And once we're in Paris, you can see what we're gonna do in Paris. We've been to Paris before, so this will be our second trip, and we're gonna see some new places as well as some old places we visited, and we have our kids with us too. So join us on our trip to Paris. We finally made it to Paris. We are in Paris, France. Viva la France. Um, we're in a place called Les Republiques, I think it's called, we're staying at a place called the Crown Plaza Hotel, and uh, we are going to get something to eat. Um, we asked the concierge what some good places are, so we're going to check them out. But if you look this way, this looks like a very popular area for skateboarding. So if you're a skateboarding enthusiast, you might want to check it out. Here's something I want to give as a little bit of a background. So far, the places we've been is we've been to Switzerland and we've been to France. And I'll be honest, the people in France are very, very friendly, very helpful, very courteous. I give a 10 out of 10 for the people in France. However, Switzerland, you guys got to work on it. Not so friendly, not so helpful. So, hey, but at least they have the uh, mountains, right? But let's go get something to eat, guys. Let's go. Very, very slightly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then the kids are going to get one kid's meal. Do they get all this? All of this, yeah. So this is our first meal in Paris, and we decided to stop at a place called Mon Coco. It's so right across from where we're staying. And um, we each got some meals that are kind of traditional of uh, France. And I started off with a glass of wine. So the wine is a red wine. This was one that they recommended because I'm having a beef dish. But what's interesting about this wine is you can actually taste the berries. It kind of sneaks up on you. So um, interesting. And they also had something called nose. Nose is when you smell the wine. So you can even smell berries. And even in the States, I've never had one where I can actually taste and smell the fruit itself, which is pretty good. It tastes so good. And you're going to see what we order in a couple minutes. 
All right, so I have ordered something very French. This is beef tartare. I've never had it. I've always wanted to try it. This one is called lightly seared, so it's a little cooked on the outside. They give you a little bit of uh, a lettuce salad, and you also get a little bread to go along with it. But they also give you some Dijon mustard, which is also very French. So let's try this, the beef tartare. So it's basically a little raw on the inside, but it's seared on the outside, but it has like different kinds of, it's supposed to be really good. So let's just try some of this on its own without the sauce. Wow. Um, it has mustard in it. I taste the Dijon mustard already. I don't think I need this. Really good. Um, a little vinegary, I guess. It has a little flavor. Um, it is it is a cold dish, so if you don't like cold stuff, it might not be for you. But I liked it. Really good. And maybe like a little salad. Try some little salad with it, too. Very fresh, like a vinaigrette. Like dressing. Really good. And local bread. Try some of this. And it pairs really well with the beef tartare. It's pretty yummy. Oh yeah. Bread and, and uh, beef both good together. Next, we have Pluma de Gassoin Iberic, a lean and tender meat considered one of the finest cuts of Iberian pork. Served with a sweet spring onion sauce, smashed sweet potatoes, and seasoned vegetables. So let's try some of the pork tenderloin. Got a lot of sauce on it. Let's dip a little more sauce. Wow. It is so moist, literally melts in your mouth. Oh. Sauce is a little sweet, but oh, it's so tasty. Let's try this. It's a little bit of a potato, I think. Try some of that. Mm, sweet, very sweet potato. Got some veggies there. Oh man, this is super good. This is very good. Definitely recommend this. Very French dish. Thumbs up. Okay, so something else that is not French, but people think it is, is French fries. Now, the French fries actually originally came out of Belgium, but they were also transported to England and called pomme frites. And then they came and ended up becoming to France, becoming French fries. So French fries are really not French, but hey, who cares? They're good, right? So we just finished our meal, uh, food was great, uh, service was very good, price was real reasonable, definitely recommend this place, and now we're going to explore it's New Year's Eve in Paris. We're going to be catching the underground train, also known as the Metro. For your information on New Year's Eve, it's free. But be aware, certain stations are not running and they will redirect you to another station. Yeah. After seven years, I'm so glad to be back to the Champs-Élysées. What is that? Uh, 
This is New Year's Eve and there's huge crowds. You can hear police sirens everywhere. We decided to take a walk to the Eiffel Tower. It's only about a half an hour. The Eiffel Tower and New Year's Eve, and it is crowded. But look how cool that is! It's cool. It's supposed to be fireworks here later. This is our second time visiting it. This is the first time at night. Every hour for five minutes, the Eiffel Tower will give you a blinking show. It's illuminated by 20,000 bulbs, giving it a glitzy look across the Paris landscape. We had lots of fun seeing New Year's Eve in Paris. We're all really tired fighting the crowds. It's time to go back to the hotel and get some sleep. Tomorrow's a big day, it's New Year's Day, and we're gonna be visiting the Palace of Versailles. Stay tuned and thank you so much for watching.